everyone, this is Angelica. Thank you so much for joining us today. And this is my beautiful daughter, Astara Rose. And she's off school today for President's Week. And she's just going to say hi to everybody. And then she's going to go in and play for a little while. So can you say hi, Astara? Hi. She is so beautiful, so precious, such a little angel. Mwah! So she just wanted to say hi to everybody. Okay, sweetie, so go on and go in the living room and um, go play. So I just wanted to introduce you to her because she's home today and I know I needed to make this video. This is a really powerful video. This video is called Change Your Words, Change Your Life. So, oh, let me see that. She has to, let me put in the passcode for the... Okay, there you go, baby. Thank you. Um, I really want to talk about words and how powerful they are. They're very creative. You create your reality with your words. Actually, what really creates your reality is your, your feelings, okay? And um, the thoughts trigger the feelings to create your reality. But what changes your thoughts? It's really hard sometimes to have any kind of control over your thoughts because your thoughts are kind of just always going on. And um, you can meditate for years and kind of get an understanding of how your thoughts are playing out and calm them down so you can see them. However, it can be a challenge. So I want to give you a quicker way to change your thoughts, which in turn will change your feelings which will create your reality and that is through the amazing power of your words so the reality that you find yourself in right now is true if it's good and if it's not good it's a lie so if it feels good it's truth if it's love if it's lightness, if it's happiness, if it's joy, it's truth. Because in this world, truth is love. And if you're not feeling well, if you're having difficulty with life, if there's a challenging situation going on, then that is a lie. And so you want to stop that in its tracks. You don't want to affirm and make a command with your words to the universe unless it's truth. So the situation that you find yourself in right now, if it's not happy and joyful, means that it is something that's untrue and you'd like to change it. And maybe your outer reality is actually showing up as that, um, that untruth. And in that case, it can be even more of a challenge to look around your, at your life and say, how could you not? complain about this or how can I how can I see when I see the physical reality of this thing playing out in my life how can I say something different than what is because that's what you created in your past with your words <clears throat> with your thoughts with your feelings so now you're in this space of the universe is creative it's bringing you everything that you want you're just using your words wrong so I want to talk a little bit, I'm going to give you a story about Astara, and I'm also going to give you a story about my soulmate grandmother. Her name is Virginia Rose, and we all have the middle name Rose, so it's kind of interesting. Um, Virginia Rose, and she is the most beautiful woman and has such a special place in my heart. But she used to say powerful things to me when I was a child that really, really um, molded a lot of like who I am. And three of the things that I can remember she would always say is she'd always say, I choose happy. She would always say, I choose happy. And she would smile and say, I choose happy. And um, it was just wonderful. That's what she was choosing. That was her command to the universe to bring happiness into her life. So if there's a little affirmation that you can say over and over that really works for you in your own words, perfect. Or you could just use that. She used to always say to uh, fake it till you make it. And I really like that because even though your outer reality isn't exactly how you want it to be, um, possibly, maybe it is, and you want to step it up a notch. But if it's not, you want to, if you can't fake the feelings and the thoughts, because that's very difficult, like I said, 
then you want to start talking about your reality, how you want it to be. You are making a demand, a, not a demand, more of a command to the universe. You're saying things that a person would say if they had what you wanted. And then eventually, within you know a few weeks time, a month maybe, after you keep affirming these things in words, your thoughts start to change. And then your subconscious mind, which we don't have a lot of access to, will begin to transform and change and create new beliefs, okay? Through just your words. So becoming really, really aware of what you're stating and what you're, what you're creating, you know? Um, the universe is like a magical wand or like a genie. And when you say, when you say, my life is wonderful, it's fantastic, and maybe you feel like you're lying to yourself, that's okay. Just keep saying it out loud in your casual conversations with others. Um, you want to make sure that you're speaking truth. Truth about who you are in your essence, not what you're seeing that's not true of who you are, okay? So if you have an issue that's going on and it's challenging and you need to speak to someone, speak to a counselor or a coach about what's going on with you because they can help you unravel it. But do not go in around your friends or family members and continue to speak for hours about the problem because that will keep the problem in place. Your words are powerful. They're creative. They create your life. And another thing my beautiful grandmother, Virginia Rose, we call her Gigi, uh, what she used to say to me is, if you don't have something nice to say, don't say anything at all. And we've all heard that before, and it's so true. Maybe there's something you don't like. I don't like that, okay? Instead of doing that, just don't say anything if there's something that you don't like, okay? Just let it pass, and if there's things you do like, affirm, I like those things. Those things are great. Wow, look at all the wonderful things that happened to me. Because when you start to open up to this magic, you're going to see that there's so many things that you do love and that the universe is blessing you all the time as your words are matching up to those blessings. So the story about Astara, I just want to tell you, it's a, it's, it's a pretty powerful story because it, it just shows you. Now this story, I'm not sure if it actually has to do with the words because if you write something down, it's even more powerful. But in 2007, when I was kind of in the height of my awakening, and I didn't know a lot about what was going on, but I do know that a lot of uh, beings would talk to me, and Astara was one of them. Now, Astara was born in 2011, and um, in 2007, I, I just, you know, I had no idea that she was coming. However, I'd walk in the redwood trees, and she would talk to me, and she was a little orb of light. I can remember, she was like an angel, and she was um, like right about here. I could feel her energy. And she would say, Mommy, I'm coming, I'm coming. Um, my name's Astara, and I'll be born on February 2nd, 2011. And I remember when she told me that because I wrote it in my journal. Astara Rose is born on February 2nd, 2011. The funny thing is, is that my grandma, Gigi, is born on February 2nd, too. So I thought, oh, that's interesting. You're going to be born on uh, my grandmother's birthday. Okay. I didn't give it a lot of thought though. It, um, you know, at this time in my awakening, I wasn't really sure of what was going on. I was talking to a lot of different kinds of uh, beings and angels and light orbs and stuff, but I did feel the familiar feeling of Astara and I did know to, enough to write it down in a journal, what she was telling me. And um, so fast forward, I went through my some my awakening, I learned some lessons, and was trying to kind of have more of a normal average life. Uh, when I did get pregnant with Astara, I kind of wanted to um, not get away from my spiritual nature, but I did, because of everything that was going on, I was trying to really live a normal life, because a lot of it I still um, had to process. So. 
I had put the journal away and I didn't even remember about the journal. The journal, I didn't remember that Astara had told me any of this. I didn't know. I completely forgot about it pretty much after I wrote, finished, finished that. And then I, I had left and I went to Maui for a while and then I moved to Santa Rosa. And during that time, I totally forgot about this journal, but I kept it. And I had Astara on February 2nd, 2011. And, um, didn't remember that I was going to name her a star rose, nothing. Uh, but that's the day she was born exactly. And I'd forgotten about it though. About three months, she was three months old and I was still living this normal life, trying to be kind of normal, trying to fit into society and try to like balance my spiritual energy and just, you know, get, get through, get through life. And, um, I went into my closet and I saw Hi, yeah. Oh, I know you're not three right now. I know, I was telling everyone when you were three months, not three. She's, <laughs> I know, she's five now. She wants to let everyone know that she's now five. <laughs> so, um, thank you, sweetie, for telling me that. I, everyone, she's five. She just turned five this February 2nd. So, um, so she was three months old at this time, and I went into my closet. And I was just like filing paperwork or something and I found the journal and I was looking through the journal and I saw that and it had the date um, sometime in the summer in 2007 I think and when I saw that I just started crying I just was like no way I'm like this that's when <clears throat> I started doing my spiritual work and the reason I started doing my spiritual work right then was because <clears throat> I realized that that was just too much of a coincidence to not be real. <clears throat> so here I am doing this now. But that is a powerful story because it shows you that even though I had written that so many years ago and wrote it in a journal, it was still there on paper. You know, the universe records everything. The universe records everything we've ever done, every thought, everything. So it's this big storehouse of experiences and the things you say your words your magical words and the things that you write and feel and think are all registered there and they are all creative and they start to create your reality so to change your reality first start changing your words positive Positive words will only come out of your mouth. Now, maybe your, your thoughts won't be positive yet. That's okay. That will come when you start to change your words. So, I want you to just become aware of what you talk about. Do you gossip about others? Do you find fault a lot? Do you find yourself saying um, you don't have enough of something? Do you find yourself saying this is hard this is difficult this is challenging and now I have had I've done this so many times okay I in the past and so now I'm telling you from understanding this principle how important it is to always speak positive until your life transforms into positivity and if you try this even for a month you're gonna start to see your life changing so if you find yourself having friends that are quite negative, I would suggest not hanging around with those people. Um, just for your own self-protection and so that you can be happy. If you have a habit of saying certain things like, I'm struggling, or um, I'm unhappy, or anything that's negative, don't say those things anymore. Change your words and you will change your life. So that's it for today. I just really wanted to get that message out there. And maybe you guys can practice this and then leave some comments about how it's working for you. Or maybe you can leave some comments about some of the things you say on a daily basis and, and think, you know, make an affirmation in writing in a comment about how you're going to change your words and start to become aware of them and notice them and make that difference. Okay, I love you all so much. Happy Valentine's Day. I've got my heart, my heart shirt and my, my little heart scarf 
to celebrate Valentine's Day on Sunday. I love you all so very much. Astara loves you too, and I hope you have a beautiful day.